Brad McGinnis is the founder of Proud Boys. These are men who include white supremacists, neo-Nazis. They go around town getting into scuffles and physical altercations with people. Anyway, update on Gavin McInnes is that he lives in this wealthy part of New York known as Larchmont. And he is hated by his neighbors and he is crying about it. <laughs> so that's what I love about stories like this because Gavin McInnes talks about what a tough guy he is day in and day out. And then he finds out that his neighbors dislike him and he whines about it. So he said the following on one of his broadcasts, of Infowars, he said, "Quote: I blame George Soros for all of this. Mm -hmm, Soros sure. is terrorizing me and trying to shut down my fraternal club, the Proud Boys, and he's paying people to mess with my life and spread these lies about me, spread fake news. Oh, are you gonna be okay, Gavin? I'm pretty sure that the person spreading terrible things about you is you." On a regular basis, I mean, he doesn't shut up about what a terrible person he is. In fact, I'm gonna skip ahead and I'm gonna go to video eight. This is Gavin McGinnis. This is a video compilation of all the disgusting things that Gavin McGinnis has publicly said. Uh, I started this gang called the Proud Boys. And the uh, Proud Boys? The Proud Boys. What is the, what's Proud Boys about? We will kill you, that's the Proud Boys in a nutshell. We will kill you, we look nice, we seem soft, we have boys in our name, but like Bill the Butcher and the Bowery Boys, we will assassinate you. Now, part of the reason I agree to do the talk is because I'm allowed to bring all my guys, and we can fight our way in and fight our way out. I think it's our job to do it. And the cops just turn a blind eye. If you're wearing a MAGA hat, as Sal is right now, Sal's in the studio, folks. Oh my God, it's Sal Cipolla. Where are you from? On here. Why, you came, came a long way. You're wearing a MAGA hat and some guy with a slightly punk demeanor comes up to you and says, hey, are you Sal or are you pro-Trump? Choke him, trust your instincts. Don't listen to what he has to say, choke him. If I do a video where I say, how about we start throwing bricks? Is that legal? I, you can't call for violence on a specific person, but can you say they're throwing bricks? We should throw bricks. Can you call for violence generally? Because I am. So a number of his neighbors learned about him after the Proud Boys got into a physical altercation with protesters in Manhattan. This was after they were invited to the Republican Metropolitan Club to speak, which gives you an idea of what the Republican Metropolitan Club of New York really thinks about groups like this. But anyway, so the neighbors find out that he's not a good person and they don't want anything to do with him. Some of them wanted to put up signs on their lawns indicating that they condemn hate. And Gavin McInnes has been whining and crying about it. So they said he says they're targeting him and they're coming up. But wait, wait a minute, they didn't do anything. You call for violence, they didn't, they didn't do anything like that. All they did was lawn signs, that's it. You know what the lawn sign said? Hate has no home here. Now, wait a minute, if you don't practice hate, why would you take that personally? But you do practice hate, that's the whole point of your group, so you did take it personally. And you think Soros funded the lawn signs? No, your good, well-meaning neighbors got together and they were like, I can't believe that there's a monster among us. And so they didn't do anything aggressive, all they just said is, we're against hate, that's it. And what do you do? You do an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. Say, oh yeah, I'm not for hate. It's that Soros, the the wealthy Jew that's funding all of this. Out of what? Of this? I mean, that's it's preposterous. You made that up. It's a conspiracy theory, and you and it's a deeply anti-Semitic one, and you know it, and you do it while pretending you're against hate. You're the worst kind of trash. So he refers to himself as like this radical protector of free speech. But when his neighbors want to put up signs condemning hate, he get he throws a hissy fit about it. Okay. Oh, you're your feelings yeah. are a little white trash. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I'm uh, free speech, free speech. I should be able to call for violence and choking people. He also said choke a tranny. It's like if you see one, you know what kind of physical violence that that uh, transgender people in this country live under every day, the threat of violence as well as the violence itself because of monsters like this. And he thinks it's funny. Haha, <laughs> it's funny that I threaten your life. And I and there's a, a, a term for this that I did not know before, stochastic terrorism. What it is is I didn't do the terrorism, I just encourage other people to do it. And when it pops up and somebody actually does violence against you, haha, <laughs> not my fault. You saw it on that tape, he basically brags about it. 
And so when his neighbors also practice free speech and a tiny little most inoffensive free speech you can say just saying we're against hate. He's like, oh, it's free speech. <laughs> what a loser you are, Gavin McGinnis. Well, I thought you were a populist, but it looks like you live in a fancy neighborhood. That's, mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. But then when your neighbors don't like you, all of a sudden, oh, but the rich elite. He says that one of them tried to get him kicked out of his country club. <laughs> Did they, Gavin? No, your country club. Oh, you're so punk. Oh, you're <laughs> such a populist. Oh, but guys, they're trying to kick me out of the country club. What a pathetic loser you are. You know, it's amazing because they want to go around saying whatever it is that they want to say, but they never want to face any of the consequences for, for saying the things that they say, right? You think that you can go around talking about choking trannies, talking about punching people, if they just simply ask, do you support Trump? Like, you think you go around saying that and everyone has to like you, everyone in your neighborhood has to love you. No, people hate you and they hate you for a good reason because you spread hate. You go around talking about how much you despise people who aren't exactly like you and the little losers that you run around with. I mean, this is this is the consequence. You, you, you have the right to say the things that you have to say. The government can't go after you for that. But people get to dislike you or protest the things that you have to say and you have to deal with it. No, and look, so his wife put out a statement and I would never ever bring his wife into it if she didn't put out a statement herself, Emily McInnes. And, and I got nothing against her at all. She, she says, look, I'm a Native American, I'm proud about that. And, she, and unlike the right wing, I will not question it. I assume she of course is, right? And, and she says she's a, she votes Democrat. Okay, nothing wrong with any of that, right? And look, she's she's in a tough spot because she's married to a monster and she's just trying to get along. She's got kids and I, I feel for her in that regard, right? But then she says, my husband's a Trump supporter and enjoys being a provocateur at times and he has a passion for free speech. No, as we just explained, you don't have a passion for free speech because you don't like it when other people speak, okay? But most importantly, you think it's cute, Oh, he's a provocateur. I provoke people into attacking, choking, potentially killing others, transgender people, people who are the others. Oh, well, he didn't target Native Americans. Well, I guess lucky you, right? But did he target other people? Over and over and over again. Uh, and is he a lunatic? That is, he, one of his theories is that George Soros is um, funding an army of lesbian lawyers. Okay, look, some of it is funny because he's so stupid. Like it's hard not to laugh at something that stupid. But when you call for violence and your idiot followers who are also among the dumbest people in the country listen to you and believe you and commit that violence as the Proud Boys have over and over again, then that is a real problem and it's not cute and it's not being a provocateur. It's actually purposely causing harm to others because you're a terrible person. And if people call you out for that, just have the decency to live with it. Why aren't you proud? Aren't you supposed to be the proud boys? Oh, it's such a good point. Okay. What happened? And so why all of a sudden you're like, oh no, they pointed out the things I was saying. Boo hoo. Can I get back in the country club? <laughs> Loser through and through. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.